This is the Give Energy app, which goes with all of the Give Energy home battery products. I'm going to just show you the home screen and then I'm going to run through some basic functions with you. So I'm at home at the moment. I'm connected to my Wi-Fi. I'm seeing real time data on the home screen of my Give Energy app. If I left, it would show me the same data, but there would be a slight lag. It would be coming from the Give Energy cloud. Now, to get going, we're going to click on the top three lines of the left hand corner. This is called a burger. Click on that. Hopefully it's a vegetarian one. And then we're going to scroll down to settings right at the bottom and click on preferences. Now, my background is dark and I'll show you how to change that. If we click on change app appearance, you can pick the theme. Mine's dark theme. When you download the app, it's on light theme. I like to see the neon colours really pop, especially the solar. And you get this by going on to the dark theme mode. Now, I would advise to toggle on those um, quick settings button. I'll show you what that does when we go back to the home screen. You can also view advanced data, which just clears all of your data. I haven't had to do that yet, but if you need to do it, this is where you do that. So I'm going to go back to my preferences um, menu and look at local monitoring. Now, all this does is you can add your IP address or scan for your IP address and add this here if you need to do that. Now, if you're an Octopus Energy customer, this is back on the main screen, click on Smart Tariffs. You'll be able to get your Octopus API key from your Octopus account really easily. And by adding it to this app, I'll do another video on how to add it, you'll be able to see your pricing, how much you spent, how much you've earned on your export as well. Really handy in this app. You can also check if you see what's new, look at what's been updated on the app. Um, especially if you haven't been on it for a little while. I assume you'll be addicted, but you can look at what's new there. So this is back on the basic screen, seeing all of the functions. You notice that little round button, that play button. This has been added by toggling on those quick access ones that we did in the preferences. Otherwise, you wouldn't have that play button there. All of the buttons are clickable, so you can click on everything and it will show you various amounts of data. The main one I look at is the battery. This shows you the percentage of the battery charge and it shows you when you've charged the battery and this is really handy for a quick look about how much you've got left. Also good for quick access is this play button you've added. You can force charge and discharge at will by using this quick function. Handy, for example, if Octopus has a free hour of energy and you want to toggle on to charge up that battery during the period. Now I'm going to click on the top left hand corner, this little round cog. This goes through to the real one, the, the main scheduling, which you really have to get right. I've got charge from solar and battery, so my battery will be charged from the solar and my off peak. When I'm going to add those settings, I'm going to add the start time and the end time. You can also add the discharge time too. I haven't ha added that yet because um, I'm not on export rate, but you can add all of your settings in that one. So that's the top right hand cog. The next cog down in the middle, you can add things like um, your um, EV charger, your smart plugs, or I'm going to add carbon intensity. Now by doing that, this little leaf has appeared and I can see how dirty the grid is. I, I say dirty because I'm in South Wales and to be honest, even if it's blowing a holy, it's never clean. So you can look at your local carbon intensity from the grid there hope that makes sense. So the play button we've added, we've talked about scheduling, we've looked at the battery charging, we've looked at how to add extra functions like your EV charger if you add that or your smart plugs. That's some of the basic functions, the rest you can just play with. The main thing to remember is to get your off-peak rate in and programmed and to know how to um, force charge and discharge if you need to um, from the app. The rest is just optional. I, personally, I think if you've got any questions, let me know. Hope you enjoy using the app and thank you.